Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another episode of 5 Easy Minutes. And I am the People's Champ. Y'all see it. I'm the Hardcore Champ. Oh, I got it upside down. And y'all know we got a hardcore football fan on the line. We got my man, Lil Boy CC from Lil Boy CC TV. Go check his page out. He does a lot of Madden and all of that. But CC, I got you in here for one reason and one reason only, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself first, though. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Lil Boy CC, a.k.a. CC Simtex. Catch me live on YouTube, Lil Boy CC. <laughs> you know it. Um, so, yeah. As, Jay, as you know, Jay, hardcore football fan, Ravens fan. Yeah. And Ravens I fan. wanted to ask me some questions, but we got issues that we need to address. Yeah, as man. As far as our favorite sport is concerned. Exactly, man. You know, it's like I said, it's five easy minutes. You know, five minutes, three questions. Five easy minutes. Now, that's the show. Five minutes, three questions, everybody. Let's go. Okay, maybe I'll make that the theme song or something. But anyway, like I said, as always, if you see camera freezes, it's just because, you know, on my computer... It sucks. This this is the old one right here. So anyway, check it out, CC. Here we go. The minutes, five minutes on the clock, and we going. So what do you think about the whole lockout and the whole situation as a whole? Oh, okay. This lockout, man. For, from my perspective, it's retarded. I think it's the dumbest thing that you could you could do as far as a business and organization because. The, the NFL is asking $1 billion back from the players, right? Right. And the players are like, well, why do we got to give you back a $1 billion? <laughs> now, my thing is, is, okay, if you are an organization that makes $9 billion a year, right? what are you asking $1 billion for? What are you doing with the other $8 billion that you need to ask the players to give you back money that they, that they earn? They sign the contracts, you pay the contracts, so everything that they get in their paycheck – they earn right so how could you ask them back for some money so to me the nfl uh front offices are in the wrong right because you can't have nine billion dollars and then just lose it <laughs> like, 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 hey, let me get one of them back let me get one of them billions back yeah i feel the same way because like i was thinking my thing was i could see if they were saying okay we're gonna take we're gonna take our billion back and we're gonna allocate that toward the players um you know, health funds and pension plans and stuff like that. Yeah, I could, I could feel that I could be into that, but that's not what they're doing. I don't even know what they're planning to do with this extra one billion dollars that they're asking for back. But my thing was like, let's say people like, um, like, like Mel Blunt and guys like that that played before they were making big money, before they could afford to take care of themselves for the rest of their lives off what they made. You know, guys like that, guys like Refrigerator Perry, because he played right on the cusp of that era where they made a lot of money. Like guys like those that really. That, that need some help right now. Like, if they were going to take that money and allocate it toward the pension plans and, uh, you know, the health fund, the lifetime health fund of these players so you can take care of the people that have paid you for so long, I could get with it. But, you know, that's not what they're doing as far as I can tell. So, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, you know, the next question would be, uh, how long you think it's going to go on? Well, from what I was told, the longest NFL lockout was 24 days. Right. Now, it doesn't seem, it wouldn't make no sense. Like I said, you lose $9 billion if you do a lockout and there's no football season this year. Right. So, you ask for a billion back, you're going to lose nine if you don't have no football. So, I'm thinking, by the time, by the time mandatory training camp comes in late July, uh, early August, that everything will be settled and there won't be no more lockout. Right. Yeah, and, and that's as long as – 24 days was as long as it extended into an actual season, though, so they had the replacement players and all that. And we already know that that doesn't work at all. If baseball told us anything, uh, replacement players just don't work. Fans want to see – we want to see Ray Lewis. We don't want to see uh, Kid Cootie out there or, uh, you know, <laughs> Trey – Trey, Trey, do it, or some some like that, a reasonable facsimile of Ray Lewis. We don't want to see that. We want to see Ray Lewis come and, and knock people out. But you know, it is what it is, man. I figured that, um, like you said, I hopefully it doesn't extend into training camp at all. Hopefully they can get it resolved uh, a little bit after the draft or whatever. Um, ideally, I guess they want to have it in place before the draft so these players can get signed with these reasonable contracts. But one of the biggest things um, that was in the whole thing was the fact that they wanted the rookies to have pay scales. Now, do you feel like that's fair, or, or how do you feel about rookies having pay scales similar to the NBA? Um, 
I'm not too familiar with the whole pay scale and thing. Uh, my thing is, is if you're a rookie, I don't care what sport it is. Yeah. I don't care how good you are. Until you do something professionally, you shouldn't be making this ample amount of money. Exactly. I mean, you got, you got, uh, you got Jamarcus Russell. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Oh, yeah. Straight trash. Yeah. Straight, absolute trash. And they paid him $66 million. Right. Uh, and that contract, like, no, nah, man, you haven't done nothing to prove yourself professionally. Right. You might have been a good college athlete, and that's all well and nice. Right. But if you don't do anything to translate into the pros, then it doesn't matter. Right. Kind of like David Carr, and then you got uh, guys like, uh, I want to say uh, Glenn, uh, Glenn Dorsey, but, uh, and, and uh, yeah, Dorsey, they, they played for uh, defensive tackle for the LSU. And that his name Glenn Dorsey, whatever his name is, he played pretty. Yeah, but he played uh, pretty well though. So this year, so I can't even. Uh, I can't hate on him because they like him in Kansas City. I hope that's his name because I know they're gonna kill me in the comments if it isn't. I keep thinking of the damn Ken Dorsey, the bust ass quarterback from uh, Miami. But uh, you know, oh, yeah, I remember Ken Dorsey. it ain't. But uh, what is his name, Glenn? I can't remember. Y'all tell me in the comments. It's Glenn. It's Glenn Dorsey. Okay. Okay, okay, so that's what it is. But, you know, that's our time for the day, man. So, you know, we addressed three questions in five minutes. You know, uh, we do think uh, – what, what, what was it? We'll just recap. The, the lockout is bullshit. Why you you arguing over $1 billion and you're about to lose nine? They need to come together and figure out something over that. Like, uh, you know, just like the people. Come together right now in this motherfucker over me. And then they need to come up with uh, – the Ricky Pay scale is a good thing. They need to have it like the NFL. Pay the guys after they've proved themselves and give Ray Lewis the money he deserves so he can stay so you don't allocate a large portion of your team's salary to somebody that hadn't even proven himself and then you can't keep somebody like Ray Lewis, two or three players, because one person is making all the money that we don't even know what he's going to be three years from now. And, uh, you know, the lockout, we – right. And then, you know, the lockout, we think it'll last – I don't think it'll get past uh, – I hope it doesn't go into training camp. Hopefully they get it done. But you know how these things – they become a dick measuring contest largely after a while. So we're just going to have to see. But, you know, I appreciate you being on uh, CC. You know, check out Little Boy CC. Uh, yeah, thing go ahead, the, go ahead, uh, go ahead. Thing. Um, another thing that goes into with paying all these high first-round picks and whatnot. Yeah. You're going to have to pay the six-round picks, too, because this exactly. not the time Brady was in the sixth round. There you go. Terrell Davis was in the sixth round. There you go. So if they end up proving themselves, you gotta pay everybody. Exactly. You don't just pay one person, you gotta pay them all. Exactly. So I say give all the motherfuckers five million for two years. Cause let me have a chance to play football <laughs> on a one point five million dollar contract. I know, right? Twelve years. Twelve years, damn. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm swearing, all you need is a million dollars and you said for life. I don't know. Yeah. You gotta buy no damn Lamborghini. I take the right. Toyota Corolla, damn it. Ex no. Exactly. But you know, I you know I appreciate you being on, man. Uh, hopefully we have you back one of these days this week, man. So you know, uh, you know, uh, y'all go check out Little Boy CCTV. He plays a lot of Madden. He plays a lot of sports games, and he plays Call of Duty. Uh, pretty much, he plays. He tries to play as much competitively as possible. But uh, teammates be bullshit. They don't be want to play competitively. But that's a whole different story. So. <laughs> We out of here, man. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, B.K.A. the People's Champ. Holla! Up next is Byron on the show tomorrow, man. So y'all be stay tuned for that. CC, tell the people we out.